Panda, what you doing? Setting up my iMovie on my school iPad to try out for the next Superhero Ninja Warrior competition. All I have to do to finish my application is upload my video and press submit, and I will for sure become the next Superhero Ninja Warrior! Um, Panda? It says right here that you have to be 18 to enter. Did you ask a trusted adult if you could do this? Well, I am 25 in dog years. And eight in panda years. Panda, you have to be extra careful with your school iPad because it's for school and learning. When I built my obstacle course, I took extra special care to keep the iPad away from water, fire, and cold. That was good, right? You for sure don't want your iPad to be around water or left in the hot or cold, but you also need to think about privacy. Oh yeah, I know all about private information. You shouldn't tell strangers your full name, address, email address, phone number, social security number, school name, where your parents work, and credit card numbers. That's right, Panda. And don't forget that your photo and photos of others are also private information. So you're not allowed to give your picture to a stranger? That makes sense. You shouldn't even take a photo or a video unless you ask permission from a trusted adult. Because once you take a picture, it's sometimes hard to tell where it might be saved or who might see it. A trusted adult can help you find that out. You for sure shouldn't take a picture or video of another person unless you ask their permission. That's just being polite. So, I need to ask a trusted adult before taking videos and pictures and before sharing my private information with a stranger. And I should be polite and always ask someone before I take a picture or video of them. I can remember that. Now, let's take a look at that application. Panda, you do realize that you typed in your full name and your address on this, right? Sure, it asked for it. But Panda, typing your information is the same as telling a stranger this information. Do you know who will be reading this application? The contest organizers? Who are people that I don't know. That's right, Panda. Typing your private information into a website is the same as telling a stranger your information. And when you share your information online, it's hard to know where it's really going. A trusted adult can help you figure things out. Is there anything else I need to know? Just a few more reminders. Avoid leaving your iPad in a place that is too hot or too cold, like a car. Don't put your iPad in your backpack with your lunch or a water bottle that might leak on it. Carry it with two hands. Keep it away from pets charge it every night, and remember that your iPad is for school and it's for you to work on. It wouldn't be wise to share your iPad with someone who might not treat it the same way you would. And remember, if you wouldn't be proud for your teacher or principal to see the work you've done on your iPad, then just don't do it. It's important to think, is it true, helpful, inspiring, needed, or kind? If it's not one of those things, don't do it with your iPad. I wish I would have stopped to think before I put together this obstacle course for my iMovie. Well, Panda, I think we could call it inspiring. I think we know a few people who might want to try this course out with you. <laughs>